Video for El Haytham's best weapons. Now, if you're like me, you're wondering, what am I supposed to do? Is El Haytham going to deal whatever type of damage and you have no idea what to build no idea what kind of weapon he would wield whatever it is but we have seen that he does wield a sword and with that we can now make some assumptions as to what kind of sword he might be using now as we've seen in a, you know some of the cutscenes, we've seen him use this sword right here which is the z Force moonlight now this sword has a base attack of 510 and elemental mastery of 165 meaning he might actually use elemental mastery and if that's the case then we don't really have that many weapons that would actually be that good for him uh this weapon is actually pretty good for you know energy recharge and it actually does help a lot with support but i'm not really quite sure for a character that might deal dps if this weapon is the best for that character obviously for the five star weapons his best in slot would probably be his weapon banner weapon and that would make the most sense but other than that, we would have weapons such as the Mist Splitter Reforged or even the Jade Cutter. Something with create or critical damage to really help output the most amount of damage possible. And with that in mind, there might be other weapons that you guys might have. Such as, you know, some physical damage weapons or whatever it is. And I don't think that would be the greatest of all time. Seeing that he is Dendro, I would assume that you would want to, you know, mix in some reactions. And if that's the case, then you would need the new artifact set that has the, you know, increased dendro reactions. So yeah, I would probably think that all of them would use this, you know, artifact set. And this artifact set does have elemental mastery, which, you know, means a lot, you know, means he actually might be using elemental mastery. And that's the case of uh, his actual damage will be increased by 40% if you're using any type of, you know, bloom reaction. Or if not, you know, they would gain a different type of, you know, bonus, which is 25%. Which isn't the worst of things, especially if it, you know, stacks by four times, which is pretty massive. Now, if that's the case, you're going to need different types of weapons, different types of whatever it is. And then this actually isn't a bad weapon. Only if he does use Elemental Mastery. And if that's the case, there are other weapons such as the newest event weapon, which <laughs> not going to really look good on him, but it is elemental mastery and it has a buff of 32 percent if they have the cursed uh parasol thing on them which isn't the worst thing and if you have you know missed your chance to get that weapon you can use the iron sting and if you i think this is the least of the least that you might have which is the iron sting and it's not the worst weapon but it's not going to be a great weapon for your all hate them uh, I would suggest still going for some sort of crit rate crit damage weapon to increase his, you know, damage, you know, completely. If that's the case, you're going to get some sort of, you know, Black Lift Long Sword. Or if you have the Battle Pass, the Black Sword, which is going to increase um, other stuff as well. And the healing, we don't really care about that too much. Uh, yeah, it does have crit rate and crit damage on these weapons. And that is for the four stars, because we, we don't really have that many options. And if you're really struggling, you could use the Harbinger for both create and crit damage, but it is going to lack a lot in the base attack department. And if that is the case for you all, those are pretty much the weapons that I would personally use on El Haytham right now. So if you're going for an elemental mastery type of build, the four star weapons I mentioned, such as the Zephos or the Iron Sting or the Toku, I'm not going to try to you know say that. Uh, these weapons would be pretty much fine to use. Uh, if you're going for a super damage type of build, uh, I'll go with the, you know, career damage weapons here. Now for the five star weapons, I don't have any five star sword weapons. But if I were to use a five star sword weapon, I would use a weapon such as the Miss Splitter Reforge. That weapon has so much crit damage. I don't think you're going to need another weapon after that going to be absolutely amazing and if you guys want that that is my most suggested weapon right after his banner weapon the current banner weapon which is the harange bakufutsu has crit rate on it and it's pretty good and it will increase your elemental damage bonus which is pretty nice and it actually might increase normal attack damage and that would be pretty decent if he was a normal attacker and if that's the case 
Harangapaku Kutsu could actually be a decent weapon for him as well. Skyward Blade is not going to be that great for damage because it has energy recharge as its substat, which isn't the greatest of all time. Freedom Sworn, it has EM, so it actually might be a good weapon, but I don't think he'd benefit a lot from the actual, you know, passive of the weapon. Summon Shaper, Avoid. Prime of the Jade Cutter is going to be pretty good. Uh, the Misplitter, obviously. And the other weapon, I forgot it was the one that was used for... The weapon used for Nilo is not going to be good at all it has HP percentage so don't bother and that is going to be pretty much so in the five star department I would use his banner weapon number one number two I would go with the misplitter reforge or even the harangapaku futsu third one I would use the primary the jade cutter especially because it has a lot of critic and that is going to be my top three for the five stars I think that is all the weapons I can think on top of my head and last but not least, I did want to talk about the weapon that you make in Sumeru, which is the Sapwood Blade. I personally still haven't even unlocked this weapon, but I know that it does deal, you know, if you do any type of gender reaction, it increases your elemental mastery by 12 seconds, and you can gain this, you know, super rapidly. And if you do have this, it might work kind of well. But the only problem with this weapon is it does have a subset of energy recharge rather than elemental mastery or, you know, create or crit damage or even attack percentage, which uh, I don't think I would recommend to that degree. And if that's the case, uh, I wouldn't, uh, I don't think I would personally use that weapon. That is going to be it. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys did enjoy, please consider liking this video, subscribing to the channel as well. That'd be greatly appreciated. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. What kind of weapon you would use on Alhaitham. Yeah, that is going to be it. If you guys did enjoy, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video very soon.